Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and in the previous video, we finished with the coding part in our third program in which we have left outer join as well as for all entries in. Now we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode and if some confusion is there, it will be automatically cleared. So I will go to VBAK table and the major motto is we need to understand are we getting those records which are in VBAK but not in VBAP. I will go to contents 20th August. Suppose I will go for 21st August. You can see 117 is the sales order number which is in VBAK table, but it is not in VBAP table. I will go for VBAP. If I will put this sales order numbers into VBAP table, control Y, control C, control V. I will execute. You can see 117 is not there. Now I will run this program and we will see are we getting this or not. I will put a breakpoint. I will run. Suppose I am giving 20th August to 21st August. I will go for execute. In the previous program, we are not getting 117 because we put the inner join. Now, I will simply, simply go for this internal table. Zero record, five columns. And this is our input. This input will go to ERDAT column of this particular table, VBAK. And we will fetch that data of one column from VBAK, four columns from VBAP, but we are going for left outer join. It means Firstly, it will take all the records from VBAK. We'll get these four sales order number. Then it will combine with that data of VBAP. So 117 will remain as it is. So if I will do F6, you can see. If I will go for this internal table, have you seen? We have 117. Other column data is blank because there is no other column data in VBAP table. This is how your left outer join works. Now, now I will come here. This internal table is not initial. Yes, this internal table is not initial. Now we are fetching data from MAKT table based upon that data of this internal table and what, which column data we are passing matinar. First internal table matinar will go to matinar column of MAKT table. It will fetch that data of these two column and data will come into this particular internal table. Okay, if you see this internal table, we have 42 material number. Okay, in the previous videos, I showed you also we should not give unnecessary stress to the database. We can simply, simply sort and delete the adjacent duplicates also. If you see in the previous program, we have put this kind of logic. If I will go for the program, same logic we can abandon here also. We can add here also. Okay, this is the program. Anyways, I will add in this video itself. We deleted and the adjacent duplicate. Same thing we will do here also. Because performance is most important factor. Now, if I will simply, simply do F6, you can see we will get a one record into this internal table because we have 42 material number. 42 material number and description is steep. Now we are putting a loop onto this internal table. You can see this internal table has four records. Now with this loop, we'll continue four times. So firstly, first record, 
from the internal table will go to work area. You can see in this work area, we have the first record. We have the first record. What is the material number? 42. It will check into this internal table. Do you have a record of 42 material number? Yes. So this if condition is true. When this if condition is true, we are passing the data from this internal table to this work area. You can see as of now, this work area is blank. So whenever this statement will execute, data will go to work area. And you can see we have 42 and steel in the work area. Now we are passing it to final work area. You can see these are the values of six columns. Post NAR, VBELN, Post NAR, MATE NAR, KW, ME, NG, VRK, ME, and MAKTX. We are passing it to final work area. You can see LWA output. We have the data of the six columns. And we are appending it to internal table. Now, in this internal table, we have the first record. We have the first record. Now, this loop will continue for the second record now. Now from the loop, second record will go to work area. You can see in this work area, we have the second record. This is the second record of the internal table, 71. Okay, sorry. This is the internal table, 71. Now it will check into this internal table do you have a matinar 42? Yes, because for all the sales order number, the matinar is 40. If condition, true. We are passing the data to final work area. From work area, we are appending it to internal table. So we have the second record into the internal table. Now loop will come for third iteration. For the third iteration, what is the sales order number? 73. We checked. We pass the data to respective work areas and we simply append it to the internal table. Done. Now the major point is to understand the fourth. Now we will come on to fourth iteration. Now this is your fourth iteration. LT underscore data. Data will go to work area. In this work area, we only have the sales document number. Other column data is not there. Yes because there is no item data. So it will check into this internal table. Do you have a matinar with blank into this internal table? We do not have matinar blank. If you will not use line exist, system will throw you runtime error. Now system will not throw the runtime error. So this if condition fail. There is nothing into this if condition. Now we will simply, simply Pass that data to this work area. Now you can see LWA output. This is our final work area. Now into this work area, we will pass that data of only one column because other column data is not there. But just see now intentionally in the previous videos also, I have not cleared the work area. At this point of time also, I have not cleared the work area. I want to show you, yes, how we will get a wrong result. Suppose, if I will go for LWA data post now, matinar, KWMENG, VRKME, and this is your MAKTX. Have you seen for this particular, for this particular record, LT underscore data? Just see. We have this particular record, particular record. There is no matinar, then how, how we are getting that description, how we are getting that description, because system is simply taking that description from the previous record itself. Suppose when you put this final, but when you put this fourth record to the work area, postnar blank, matinar blank, KWMENG blank. VRKME blank, no problem. So whenever you are passing it to final work area, no problem. All other column data are blank. But for MAKTX, for this MAKTX, still we have this particular steel 
this still we have this previous matinar into this particular work area it means we should clear this particular work area debugging is a powerful tool which will always help you to identify the error ideally we should clear this particular work area also but what happened whenever we pass the data to this particular work area the data of other columns are blank so it has not impacted the data of other columns has not come but this particular if statement has not executed then in that case whatever is in previous whatever this whenever this logic executed for the previous record the still the same data is in the previous work area so we should clear that particular work area so whenever we will clear that work area yes it will not go to this particular internal table now if you see as of now what is happening into this internal table lt underscore output we are getting steel so customer will say matinar is not there but steel is coming so it is a wrong output itself so clearing sometimes clearing is very very important now your data is into this internal table now we are preparing field catalog this is our field catalog we are preparing field catalog of six column you can see we have the six column data now we are using the grid display function module to bind that data with the field catalog and we have the output but the only thing is this is wrong are we getting the expected output yes 117 is in the output so we will clear these work areas in the previous videos also i showed you in the debugging mode first so i will clear lwa okay lwa data and i will clear lwa and make it so after appending i clear i will add the delete adjacent duplicate logic also because that is the best practice and we should do suppose here i am passing the data to temporary internal table this is your lt data you are passing it to temporary internal table lt underscore tam underscore data we are deleting and i here it should be lt underscore tam underscore data lt underscore tam underscore data anyways it is fully fully explained in the previous videos we put so much stress now if i will i will now just show you only these two parts in that debugging mode that are we getting yes so i will put 20th and 21st i will go for desktop 3 most preferable desktop yes anyways it is by default set now lt data is not initial you are passing that data to temporary internal table you can see in lt temp data we have this now we are deleting adjacent duplicates comparing matena now if i will do simply simply f6 we sorted and we deleted now you can see into this internal table you have two records you can easily easily understand yes why this particular record has not deleted because here the matinar is blank here the matinar is blank you can write another way also suppose if i will go further because unnecessary why we should give the record delete adjacent duplicates from this internal table comparing matena we will write before that itself delete lt underscore tam underscore data where 
मैटेना इज इनिशियल सो इट विल डिलीट द फर्स्टली द रिकॉर्ड वेयर द मैटेनार इज ब्लैंक इट विल सॉर्ट एंड डिलीट द एच एस एन डुप्लीकेट दिस इज ऑल बेस्ड अपॉन द रिक्वायरमेंट डिबर्गिंग इज पावरफुल टूल आई विल पुट ए ब्रेक पॉइंट बिकॉज अननेसेसरी वी शुड नॉट गिव बिकॉज इफ द मेटीरियल नंबर इज ब्लैंक वाई वी आर गिविंग एज ए इनपुट टू एम ए के टी टेबल I will go for twentieth to twenty first August. I will go for desktop three, most preferable desktop. You all know is initial means is blank. Now this if condition true. We are passing the data to this temporary internal table. Firstly, we are deleting the record from the internal table where matinar is initial. so whenever this condition will execute you can see we have three records into this internal table we are sorting whenever we will sort and after that we are deleting the adjacent duplicates now after deleting the adjacent duplicates now you can see we have one record one record and it will surely improve the performance based upon the real project data now we are fetching the data and now if i will show you this also description will not be there because we cleared the work area lt output you can see description is not there because we cleared the work area now if i will execute you can see this is our expected output so what is the summary of this particular video in this video i explained each and everything in the debugging mode are we getting the expected output or not firstly i showed you yes we are getting the sales order which is in bbak but not in bbap then we simply saw the output of second query we saw the output of this particular loops we created the field catalog and we displayed the output but two points we saw that the description is coming material number is not there but still the description is coming so what we observed yes we have not cleared the work area so we cleared the work area then we saw also yes we have not deleted the adjacent duplicates to fetch the data from mkt table so we deleted the adjacent duplicates but in our current scenario we have the records where matena is blank so i deleted those records also to fetch that data from this particular mkt see we have not touched the internal table in which we have all the data we did everything with the temporary internal table because people think you deleted it. then how how it is coming in the output we only did this particular process with temporary internal table here we are using lt underscore data only here we are fetching data from mkt based upon temporary internal table so that performance will improve after that we are using lt data only we are not using temporary internal table so that's it in this particular video thank you